I'd like to give you a brief overview of Moat, which is a new app which we've begun using here at ISA. Moat allows you to record voice notes for student feedback. So instead of typing your feedback to the students, you can give detailed individual feedback by simply recording your voice. It also allows you to send a class a whole message, for example, in the classroom stream and to record a commentary or a read along on an instruction sheet or on a slides presentation, which is perhaps particularly useful for younger students who don't have a stronger reading ability. Another advantage is that you can view who has actually listened to the message and confirm that your feedback has been received. I'll begin by coming out of this presentation and showing you how I would add a commentary to this presentation. Once you have installed Moat, you'll see that the purple circle with the M in it appears on your browser at the top, alongside your other extensions, and also within the Google applications, the M appears here. So if I want to record something along with this presentation, I can click here and then I'm ready to start recording. You can install Moat using a link that I'll provide you with. And once you have installed it, you'll be asked to verify that Moat has access to your account so it can save the Moats to your Google Drive and then you're ready to go. Moat is now ready to insert this into the slideshow. I can play it back if I want. You can install Moat using a link that I'll provide and then I can insert it straight into the presentation. Once it's been inserted, I'll have the option as to whether it automatically plays. Here it is here. I can either choose that it plays when the mouse is clicked on it or automatically when the slide is open. The icon appears at the bottom right, but you can click on it and move it. You can install Moat using a link that I'll provide you with. And it's as simple as that to play it. I'm now going to show you how you can use it within Google Classroom, which I think is the main use you would make. This is me marking a computing assignment that has been completed by the technical support user and I think has been rather rushed. So when I am marking this document, I can select a particular answer, which I want to comment on and use the add comment option, which is built in with Google Classroom and always available either automatically when you select text at the right hand side or by right clicking or double tapping uh, and using the context menu to click on comment. The comment box which appears can be typed in as usual, but now you have the additional moat option. So I can click on this and say, thank you for completing this on time. However, it looks very rushed to me. I don't think you've really gone back over your notes and named as many as you can. I'm looking for you to list at least eight devices for each of these sections. So please, could you go back and revise over this and then resubmit. Thank you. Once I've recorded the moat, I simply comment and then it converts it to a play button. And when the student comes to look at their returned work, they will just see this option and they can press play. Thank you for completing this on time. However, it looks very rushed to me. I don't think that works with any assignment that's been submitted in Google Docs, Google Sheets or Google Slides. However, if your assignment was a CAMI assignment or in fact, any other type of assignment, and this works for the Google Apps too, you obviously can't use the built in comment function but over on the right hand side, you can use the private comments 
and where you would normally type a private comment over here, you click on the moat icon and record your message in exactly the same way. The final use of moat, which I'd like to demonstrate, is sending a message to the entire class. You need to use a little bit of a workaround with this. If you're on your Google Classroom and in your stream, you'll notice that when you go to make an announcement, there's no purple moat icon. The workaround is that you send your class a message saying, hello, please listen to my message below. And post that message. And then within the class comments, you get a moat icon. So you can then click as you have done in the other instances and record your message to the entire class. Just to finish up, I did say that you can see who has listened to your feedback. And if we go up to the address bar and click on the moat icon, one of the options is my activity and engagement. By clicking on my activity and engagement, you're taken to a page which shows all of the moats which you've recorded. You have the option to listen to them again. And you can also see, these are the new ones which I've just created, so nobody has listened to them. But this one here has been listened to, and the student has also clicked on the diamond button to indicate that they have understood and actioned your comment. Thanks very much for listening.